I've been asked so many times, Gail, why don't you blend pastels? Hi, I'm Gail Sibley, and in this video, I'm going to show you the difference between uh, when I blend pastels and when I don't. And when I don't is really when I layer, and that's the way that I work. Many years ago, I won't say how many, uh, I was in a workshop with Doug Dawson and he used a great analogy. He used the analogy of soup making. So say you've created this soup with chopped vegetables and it's all cooked and ready to eat. Um, one person might put it all in the blender and whir it around and sure, yeah, it tastes great, but you can't taste those individual vegetables anymore. And then another person might just serve the soup as is with all the chopped vegetables available for tasting, like carrot, the potato, the corn, the broccoli, whatever's in the soup. You can taste each vegetable. And I love that analogy because I think when you layer, you, you still have the taste of each color that went into that, um, that layering. And I feel like when you blend pastels, you, you sort of lose, um, you, you, you lose that individuality of each color. Anyway, let me show you what I mean. Okay, so here I have um, a Canson Mitant and uh, here I have UART 400 Grit. So I wanted to show it to you on the sort of smoother Canson and the um, more sanded paper, the UART paper, and I'm going to be using Mount Vision pastels. So pretend uh, we have a sky and I'm going to do, so I'm going to do uh, a blue and I'm going to do two patches, one for blending and one for layering. And I'll do it on the UART as well. You can see how much the sanded paper picks up this uh, pastel, the pigment. Of course, it's a little bit lighter, so the color is showing up a little bit more. All right, and say I went, oh, you know, I think it's going to, I need a little bit of uh, pinkiness in there. So I'm just going to. Add a little bit of pink. It's really the same color as the past, uh, the paper almost, right? And so let's see what it looks like on here. It's curling here a little bit. I'm just going to add it. All right. So, and then I'm going to think, well, maybe I'm going to bring in a little bit, something a little bit uh, lighter, a little bit. So maybe just parts of it. I'm just going to maybe a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to bring in a little bit more blue there. Um, Okay, so what happens if I blend? I'm just gonna do it with my finger. So if I blend it all together like that, and on the sanded paper, it doesn't blend quite as easily. So there is a little bit of retention of the colors underneath. But if you compare those two and those two, for me, and this is a totally personal preference, for me, I love that I can see all these colors and marks. The marks and the colors, I think, I love to see that. Like I say, on the sanded paper here, uh, m more of the colors show through than it does on the uh, Canton Mitant. So what about if we use a dark? So I'm going to use a red under some green. You can see the pastel falling here and the pastel is not falling here. This is a little bit falling, but not quite as much. All right, and let's go some green. So we have that red as a nice under, under color for this green. Again, I'm going to blend. I'm just going to clean off my finger here. Try not to add any 
of the light in there. All right. See, I need to add a little bit more pastel, but it gives you the, the idea. And then let's go here. So you've got a lovely solid dark. And certainly, you know, if you blend a little bit, um, then you can always work over that. Uh, but it shows you really the difference between more of a layered and more of a, you know, if you blend pastels. Um, and let's just try, uh, okay, let's say we've got, we put this for sky and then we realize it's just too dark and we want to lighten that. So I come in with a lighter pastel. And again, these are all Mount Vision. That line is happening because this of the curving paper here. So it's just catching it. And then let's blend. I'll try and find a clean finger here. Okay, so. It's kind of, you know, nice for clouds, I guess, but. Mm -hmm. uh, and let's just try one more thing, just because I thought sometimes we put on a color. I love using bright colors. But sometimes uh, that brightness, that intensity, just might be a little bit too much for a certain area. And we want to just tone it down a bit. So let's, I'm just picking a kind of color randomly here, sort of neutralizing color a little bit. And this. You know, you can see the difference between each of them. And this, I'm not saying there's something wrong uh, if you blend pastels. Uh, I just tend to love the marks and the color that comes through when I, I don't blend. Um, quite often on my first, my three layer underpainting, if I'm working on a lighter paper, I will just sort of blend smudge, I guess, smudge the, the pastel. Uh, just to, to if, I, if I'm working on, say I'm working with a dark color and I, I don't want so much light to come through. This is, I found it more, I find it more with white paper. Um, I might want to just block, you know, do a little bit like that. But that's really the only time I think I blend or I might want to blend like a little edge or something. I might just, but that's it. And so it's totally a preference of style. Um, there are some people who do amazing paintings when with blending. Um, and I, like I say, I just really love the the mark making and the the retention of the color that is built up. Yeah. And then I can always go build on a little bit more. And that, so even if the original color gets completely covered, it's there and it's, it's giving its life to whatever's on top. So I hope that's shown you why I don't blend pastels and why I prefer to layer them instead. I would love to hear from you. Do you blend pastels? And if you do, why do you blend pastels? Why do you prefer that method? And if you don't blend pastels, then why don't you? Please leave me a comment below. And please like and share this video if you found it helpful. 
And you know, if you want to hear more from me, if you want to see more of these types of videos, please subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button below. Thank you so much for watching. I need water, I need water. <sighs> okay, here we go. So I hope that's, sh I hope it, oh, hope it has. I would love to hear from you. I said that already though, didn't I? If you wanna have more videos from me, you know what I want to say.